All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of This Would Never Happen in Reality. Whoever finishes one of these monsters gets their Mmm, steak eating oh, contest. This is obviously going to be a very cut and dry episode. So. <laughs> That's exactly the way that I finish my meals. <laughs> BP is 90 over 60. But her heart rate's 116. I don't think it's a heart attack. Did he just say that she's not having a heart attack because her heart rate's 116 beats per minute? Did we learn that in school? Hi, right, class. Welcome to Cardiology 101. If their heart rate is above 120 beats per minute, heart attack. If it's below 120 beats per minute, they good. Oh, yeah, that's right. Can you tell me what year it is? Tuesday. Concussion. Just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm Actually, that would make sense. Uh, you know, concussions from hitting your head. Just a thought. Is that her place there with the empty pictures? Oh, yeah, she was throwing them back. Uh -huh. This is hyponatremia. Ah, hyponatremia. Low sodium levels in the body from consuming too much water. I assume they're going to go ahead and grab the one tool on their truck that could rectify this problem immediately. Grab me a catheter and a Foley bag. We need to divert fluids now. Huh. Uh, I was talking about normal saline, to be clear. Captain, should we get her on the rig and let the hospital handle this? Yes, yes, yes. Her bladder's about to burst. It's my call. I'm the one who's liable. You know, I don't ever think I'd have to worry about liability because I know exactly the way that my chief would react if I ever try to insert a Foley catheter into somebody in the middle of a packed bar. Oh, I can't even explain how fired you actually are. Uh, also, uh, that girl's boyfriend is outside and said something about stomping your face into oblivion. You know, I learned two things from this episode. One, always drain your patient's bladder before hooking them up to a monitor. And two, if you perform enough unrealistic skill sets in the middle of a crowded bar, you might make your patient just happy enough to sign that refusal form. Ah, paramedicine.